More and more people are turning up at Christchurch Hospital's emergency department. This is after they smoked a bad batch, or what's been described as a bad batch, of synthetic drugs. About a week ago, the Canterbury DHB said it had 10 people arrive at ED. Some of them were critically ill after taking the drug, and this is in a period of about 48 hours. Now, Checkpoint can reveal since then the number of presentations to ED has almost doubled. Our so South Island reporter, Logan Church, has been investigating. Well, they don't call it Sin City for a reason, you know, like it's known for Sin City, that is what people call it. That's River Jaden, calling Christchurch the Sin City of Synthetics. River knows the ins and outs of synthetics well. I come from a history of addiction, um, I was a heroin addict, for seven, um, but I've been clean for seven years. I have used synthetics probably about three years ago um, and it took me to a place of where I was really, really paranoid, I couldn't sleep, um, I couldn't really hold down a job, My, I was very angry when I didn't have it, um, very dependent on it as well. Just over a week ago, 10 people turned up to ED within a 48 hour period after consuming what is being called a bad batch of synthetics. At the end of the week, that's rose to 11. The Canterbury DHB at the time said users were gambling with their life. And it seems people are continuing to roll those dice. At least eight more people have turned up to hospital in the week since. So what makes these potentially deadly drugs so accessible and so easy to find? Most of the product, the chemical, I don't know what the chemical's called, but it has been there's a chemical coming from China that's getting in through customs. What happens is it, it gets in like a fertiliser bottle and it's sprayed onto hay, grass, herbs, cut up and then put into a bag. So a $20 bag would probably be equivalent of $50 worth of pot. How, how easy is it to get? You could pretty much go on Facebook and I would say within the hour you'd probably get synthetics a bag of 20 if you are going to go that avenue. River now runs a charity called Streetwise which aims to help people struggling with problems such as synthetics. And like any drug, getting off synthetics is hard. Odyssey House is the ambulance at the bottom of the cliff for many addicts in Christchurch, treating youth and adults. Its clinical director, Nigel Loughton, says the number of people coming in with synthetic addiction is slowly creeping up. He says he's not overly surprised that users are now turning up to Christchurch Hospital in high numbers. Well, I don't think it's surprising given the manufacturing techniques. It's an unregulated kind of manufacturing thing and so the amount of substance or the, the active substances is, is quite variable and, and the manufacturing techniques aren't going to be very sophisticated and so that's going to create problems. In the year to June, 45 people died as a result of using synthetic drugs. And Ross Bell of the Drug Foundation says that's worse than anywhere else in the world. Well, I would certainly describe this as a public health emergency um, and we, for the simple reason that we've never experienced this before, uh, where you've got you know, groups of people who are, who are dying or, or being hospitalised uh, and, and anywhere in the world this hasn't been happening. So we've had some deaths in some parts of the world, but we certainly haven't had deaths to the level that New Zealand has. So we do have a public health emergency that isn't going to go away uh, any time quickly. So what is the answer? The police refused to answer any questions about how current investigations into synthetic use are going. But Christchurch-based field crime manager Greg Merton has a simple message for users. Don't take synthetic drugs or any drugs of any kind. And synthetics are particularly dangerous as we've seen through the number of deaths because nobody knows apart from the person making them and they are completely unscrupulous. Uh, what goes into them. Ross Bell thinks a more holistic approach might be the answer. Putting out a simple message, these are dangerous, don't use them, clearly isn't the, the, the right approach now. What we would want to see happening is um, health and law enforcement agencies talking to the people that are choosing to use these things and asking them, what help do you need? What can we do to support you to not use these substances, to get you treatment, to get you housing, um, and so on? But everyone I spoke to was worried that unless something drastic is done soon, synthetics will only get more accessible and more popular. Kei Ototahi Aho Motihotaka Oti Ahi Ahi Nei, Kologan Church Tenei.